This video will show you how to set up the PowerTeacher gradebook, uh, gradebook settings using category weights. So first thing you need to do is uh, log into PowerTeacher and then you're going to launch the gradebook. I just use the instantly launch button right here. And of course I've already launched my gradebook so here it is. You need to make sure you select the correct year that you're doing. It'll default to the last one used so it might have already defaulted to um, the current year because you've probably used that. I'm going to select the class, period 1A, number theory. And then you can see in this class uh, for these students, this student already has some assignments and scores. Uh, right now, it says their grade is a B minus 82.96%. And the, right here it shows that it's doing uh, total points. Uh, this student has earned, if you add up all their scores, 331 points out of 399. So in total points, if you just do that uh, division, 331 divided by 399, you get 82.96%, which our grade scale has as a B minus. Now that grade is for the Y1 term. You can see the different terms right here. Y1 stands for the full year for us, and then there's semester one, quarter one, quarter two, semester two, and so on. This is so you can look at just assignments from a particular time span, just semester one, for example or just quarter two assignments. Notice the assignments disappeared because those were not in quarter two. They were actually only in quarter one. If I do the full year term, it'll show all the assignments for the whole year. And that's how I like to view it because we give the grade based off of the full year. So, if we're going to set this gradebook up for category weights, then we first need some categories. Down here, I already have a bunch of categories I've set up. So if you don't have any categories or you want different categories, you'd have to add one. And I'll click the plus to add a new category. I'll call this uh, fake category. Uh, FC is my abbreviation for fake category. That'll just uh, show up in reports with abbreviations. You can actually choose different colors. You may have seen in the background that I had uh, different colored assignments, it's because they're from different categories. So you can give different colors. Um, now here, this will allow you to set up uh, default options for this category. Uh, whenever you make a new assignment in this fake category, it'll default to these values. So whatever you frequently use for this category, you want to set as your default settings. And of course, you can always change them for particular individual assignments. So I'll just leave it defaulting to 10 points possible, 0 points extra credit possible, and just, you know, giving them points. Now we are still using categories to weight our, our grade, but, but each assignment will be given points. And of course I want it to actually influence their final grade. And now this is to do settings for publishing on uh, the website for, for parents. I always want it to immediately publish as soon as I create an assignment. Uh, and then uh, I want it to publish the scores. And so there we go. I'm going to create a new category and it will show up right down here. And there it is. Fake category. Uh, if I want to get rid of a category, you just highlight it and then click subtract. And that will get rid of it. Uh, I can do that for this fake category because I don't really want it. Are you sure I want to delete it? Yes. Now, if you try and delete a category that you've used in the past, for example, all of these categories I've used in the past, this uh, quiz category I used uh, years ago and that class that I used it for has grades in it and so those grades are still historically stored uh, so I cannot get rid of that category which is kind of annoying to me because I don't want it anymore but it still has old grades uh, associated with it so I can't get rid of it so if you get all category uh, happy and making all kinds of categories and then keep changing them you're gonna have a bazillion categories over here so you know think ahead choose wisely I've already got categories so I'm gonna get started by creating uh, the gradebook setup for this class with categories I want so I'm gonna click on grade setup now here I can set up the uh, the grade calculation different for each term that's kind of a, a wacko way to do it but maybe you want to I'm gonna start with the full year and click on this arrow uh, for some reason, my computer keeps expanding that window and covering it up, so I'm going to lower it down. You can see that for the full year, 
it was calculating with total points. We saw that in the in the score sheet. It was automatically doing the total points. I want to change it to category weights. Now I need to actually give it some categories uh, to use for this particular term and for this particular class. Click Add Category. And then I have my list of categories to choose from, and they're all down here as well. Uh, I want to use, let's see, let me show you what I want to use for this class. Here's my grade setup for this class. I want to use category weight method with these particular categories. So classwork is 10%, final exam is 20%, homework is 20%, and testing quizzes will be 50%. Let's see if I can remember that. So I want classwork, and it also has participation. That's cool with me. Final exam, I wanted uh, homework, and then testing quizzes. So those four categories. Now these four categories all have zero for the weight, no percentages showing. There's lots of ways to do this, but I recommend just doing it a simple, clean way. In the weight, you just punch in the actual percentage that you want. Notice while I do this that the percent over here is going to be a little weird, but I'll show you how it fresh ended up. I think classwork was 10%. Notice this says 100% because this is the only category that actually has some weight, so it's taking all of it. Final exam I think was 20%, and then homework was 20%. So far I got 50% total, and uh, that leaves 50% for my tests and quizzes. So if it all adds up to 100% here in my weight, then all I have to do is refresh this, this, these numbers over here, because this doesn't make sense anymore. I'm just going to arrow up, up and down until it's all fresh. And you can see that 10 for the weight is 10%, 20 for the weight, 20%, and so on. So I've got all my weights set up. I'm going to click Save. So that reporting term is good to go. The full year has category weights. Look what happens when I check out semester one. And again, my stupid computer is moving that up over. Semester one is still using total points. So you might think, ah, oh, I gotta go back and redo all that again. You actually don't. What I'm gonna do is, and I don't wanna save those changes. I'm gonna go back to year one, right here. And I wanna copy this, so there's a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna go up to tools. Copy final grade setup. Uh, select the item to be copied. Since I'm in year one, I can copy the year one uh, settings. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to copy it. I can't do this. This is the one I'm copying from. I'm going to copy it to all the other terms. Because I want them all to be calculated the same exact way. Yep. You can read all that goodness. Finished doing its thing. And now if I go and check out semester one, it says category weights. If I check out quarter one, category weights. And everything is exactly the same. Now if I go back to the score sheet, you remember earlier uh, it said uh, the grade was like 82 point something percent. And it showed that it had like 331 points out of 399. It no longer says that. His grade has changed, uh, and it doesn't show those point totals, because now it's calculating using category weights, exactly what I want. Uh, let me show you real fast how it's calculating this 81.28%. I have these category weights, and this student has these assignments in the homework category for a total of 32 out of 49 points, and just as a raw score, uh, that's 65.3 percent uh, sort of like the homework grade uh, which is not a very good homework grade and then the classwork points that this person earned uh, the classwork category all the assignments that they did earned them 95 percent and then all these tests and quizzes earned them sort of they have a, a test and quiz grade of 81.4 and then for the final exam that one's pretty clean they got 90 percent uh, how all these categories get mushed together using category weights to make the final grade is like this. That homework grade, that 65.3% is is 20% of the overall grade. So it's multiplied by 0 0.20, or you don't need that trailing decimal, but so 0 0.2. Similarly, this uh, classwork 95% 
is multiplied by a point one, ten percent, and so on. The, the, all the, the test and quiz assignments were multiplied by point five, and then the final exam was multiplied by point two for a grand total of adding it all up. It's a uh, point eight one two eight, which of course is a pro well, actually it's been rounded. Uh, but you get uh, roughly 81.28%, and that's a B minus. That's exactly what Power Teacher Gradebook calculated. So uh, that's how you do category weights. There are many other settings you can you can have, and a couple intricacies, but uh, that's how you can do it for a single class. Let me show you how to copy uh, to all the other classes. Maybe you want all the other classes to have the same exact category weights. What I can do is I can click on, since I, th this class is the one that's good, the number theory class has category weights. I can just click on tools. Oops, I think I actually have to go to gradebook setup. So grade setup. And now I can go tools, copy final grade setup. I'm going to copy this entire class that I'm in, the entire number theory class. And I can copy it to any of the other classes. I can even go to old different years and, and copy. Um, actually, it looks like it just shows the current year. But I can choose all the other classes or even just some of the classes to copy it to. And then I can actually copy it. You can click Next and then you can finish. I um, don't want to, so I'm going to get out of there. So there you go.